Hello there, my beautiful friends. It is the time of the week that we take a look at makeup we probably shouldn't be looking at. We consider purchasing makeup we probably shouldn't be buying. It is the time of the week that we take a look at everything that is being released for this week in Pay or Stay Away. So if you are interested in seeing what is new in the makeup market, then go ahead and keep on watching and let's jump right on in. So my personal apologies to anyone who can hear a very loud and obnoxious buzzing noise in the background. It is 90 degrees here in Washington, so that means that everyone and their mama is outside with a lawnmower, doing yard work, and of course, making all sorts of racket. So the situation is somewhat out of my hands, but pay or stay away must go on and must commence. So my personal apologies for any obnoxious noise. Trust me, it annoys me too. But let's go ahead and kick off pay or stay away here with something that I am very, very excited about. And this is from Nomad Cosmetics. They just announced that they're coming out with the Harajuku palette and it is available now. It retails for $37. Now, Nomad Cosmetics is cruelty-free and vegan, so if you happen to be cruelty-free and vegan and you want this palette, good news, you're in luck. You can purchase it. Nomad Cosmetics describes this palette as a fun palette combining 10 high-pigmented eyeshadows and five unique multi-chrome toppers for a sheer prismatic color effect. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like my perfect cup of tea as far as eyeshadows go. But they also say that there is 15 kawaii shades inspired by the wild creativity of the trendy Tokyo youth. So let me just throw it out here and say I was doing my absolute best to avoid this palette because I knew it was something that I wanted and I knew it was something that I didn't necessarily need. Now they came out with a little basically promo photo of what they were going to be releasing. They came out with like four pans of the actual eyeshadow palette as a promo photo and I noticed that there are little cats that have been imprinted into the eyeshadow pans. Now do I need to buy something because there are cats imprinted into the eyeshadow pans? Absolutely freaking not. But did I purchase this palette because there was cats imprinted in the pans? Yeah, I did. I picked this palette up when it launched and guess what? That was just a few days ago. I think it was three days ago and it is being delivered today. As soon as I'm done filming, I'm going to go run my butt to my mom's house and pick up the palette, come back here, do a video on it because this palette is so stinking cute. Now, I gotta be honest here. This is an instance where I purchased something just because I thought the packaging was adorable. I thought the cat print was adorable. There is no denying that those were two major factors in me purchasing this palette because I have colors like this. I have pastel purples, I have pastel pinks, I have pastel yellows. I have just about every pastel that I could ever want, but this palette was too good to pass up. So I decided to push aside my willpower for this palette and I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed because you know I love me some beautiful multi-chrome toppers and I'm really happy that this palette has multi-chromes in an actual palette with mattes because I feel like we've seen a buttload of multi-chrome single shadows but we haven't really seen a whole lot released in palettes. So this is a nice little change, nice little refreshing moment here in the indie makeup industry. So by the time you are watching this I will have probably already tried this palette. I really hope that it is as good as I'm hoping it's gonna be, as good as I think it's gonna be. I've heard great things about Nomad Cosmetics and I think that the price point for 15 eyeshadows, including five multi-chromatic toppers for 37 bucks, that is a steal. I mean, multi-chromes themselves can range from $8, that's the lowest I've seen them personally, to like 20 bucks. So the fact that you get 15 shades and five of those shades are multi-chrome toppers in this palette for $37, that is absolutely un heard of. I am just praying to God that these are not bad quality. I am praying that the low price point isn't there because these were cheaply made, but I personally don't think they're going to be. I have faith in the brand, even though I've never tried them. I have faith in them, so we'll just have to stay tuned here to see how I feel about them. I'm sure editing me in the future will already know my opinions. But jumping right on in to the next new makeup release, we have something new from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. Now, they recently announced that they're coming out with the Sandra Rose palette. This was the palette that was previewed quite a while back, like a few months back, and they finally announced that it is available for pre-sale right now for $75 a whopping dollars for 15 shades. Now this is a brand that is based out of Australia, and I think that's why I haven't purchased anything from them yet. You know, I know I'm being a complete weenie and a complete whiner here, but I don't want to pay the extra money to get something shipped from another country over here to the US, and I know everyone in other countries right now is rolling their eyes going, oh god, shut up, I deal with this all the time but I don't wanna pay that extra money. And I will for certain brands that I know I just absolutely adore, 
Enchant Bluster Cosmetics, I'm talking to you. I'll pay the extra fees for products that I know I'm going to use all of the time, but that's not to say that I haven't been interested in their products before. I most definitely have. I've seen their things circulating around the Instagrams. I've seen their posts on Indie Mood and on Indie Makeup Spotlight, and I've considered purchasing from them before. But that price point, $75 price point, it's just driving me a little bit crazy here. Now, knowing my makeup habits and my spending tendencies here, I need to make sure that I'm not purchasing any really expensive palettes unless I know for a freaking certain fact that I'm going to use every single shade in that palette. Now, I think that this palette is really pretty. I like the combination of kind of the softer mauve rose purpley tones with the sage greens. I also like the really kind of muted aqua that we have going on here. From what I can tell, this palette basically has a rosy side to it and it has kind of like a muted blue green side to it. And I think that's really pretty. I think the combination of all of the colors here are gonna make for some really interesting smoky looks and I would be lying if I said that I didn't absolutely love the pinks and the purples we already know I do in particular I love the shade petal which is that gorgeous soft kind of rosy mauve and I absolutely adore the shade bloom from the looks of it it's like a marbled foil iridescent pinky shade oh right up my alley it is just my favorite kind of shadow it looks stunning but if they were to come out with these in singles I would go ahead and take the plunge I would pay the extra money to get these shipped over to the US but I just I can't go spending 75 bucks on something that I don't know if I'm gonna use all of it and let's face it I'm probably not gonna use that lower half of the palette so for that reason and that reason only I have to skip it I have to be smart I have to make smart spending choices here because I'm in the process of breaking my absolutely terrible makeup habits so the next makeup release that I wanted to touch on briefly here is another indie brand and this is a brand that I've never really heard of before this is fancy beauty cosmetics and they just came out with their dessert palette which is an adorable theme you know me I love desserts and makeup combined together I love makeup that is themed after like strawberry shortcake and just really cute dessert themed makeup items I am just attracted to. I know most people think it's gaudy, but I am one of those gaudy people that likes it. But I digress. This palette is available now and it retails for $35. And as you can see, you get nine different shades of strawberry lemonade looking goodness here. I think this palette is stunning. Now, I might be a little bit biased here because I think it's stunning. So, a little bit of a story time. About a year and a half ago when I first started my makeup channel, Maybelline had just come out with the Lemonade Craze palette, which had very similar tones to what we see in here, but they were just a little bit more muted. There was a lot of neutrals that were kind of thrown in. So I went ahead and did like a palette redesign, I suppose, or a shop my stash video where I chose out singles from my collection. Basically replicated the palette with existing shadows that I had at home. And this palette right here is just taking me back to that video because what I picked out from my collection was essentially this, just at a smaller scale. So I already know I own these shades, but I love the combination of colors here. I love berries and pinks mixed with yellows, and it gets so perfect for summer. I think it's so fruity and fun and cute, and I think it's perfect for a warm summer day like we're having here today. So I love the concept of this palette. I love the colors that they curated for this palette, but I just don't need this palette because I already have this palette in single shadow form. If you happen to be in the market for a new summertime palette and you don't happen to have these colors, maybe this would be a good one to try because I know that these pans are pretty darn big they're the size of the give me glow pans so they are like the size of your palm almost and it's only 35 bucks so it might be worth a shot I just personally don't need it and according to the text message that I just got my nomad cosmetics Harajuku palette was just delivered I am so excited so let's go ahead and speed through the rest of this so the final indie release that I wanted to bring up here in pay or stay away is something that is not going to be released for quite some time and it'll probably be here sooner than we know it because it's really not that far away but I am just so excited for this palette that it's seems like it is so freaking far away from now that they announced when this is going to be coming out and this is the give me glow cosmetics vintage rose palette now they previewed this palette or at least the packaging for this palette i believe in february or march so it was quite some time ago and this is going to be available on August 30th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This palette will also retail for $36. So they recently came out with the Juicy Olive palette, which is basically the same format as the Vintage Rose palette, just with olive toned colors, of course. And they previewed two shadows from the Vintage Rose palette. Oh my good God, are they beautiful? 
or what. I don't think I need to say much about this palette. I think she speaks for herself. She is absolutely stunning and although we've only seen two shades, I know that the rest of this palette is going to be absolutely beautiful because Give Me Glow Cosmetics comes out with such gorgeous palettes and so many beautiful colors and I trust them wholeheartedly with making this palette the best rose palette that I've ever seen in my life. The only thing that I'm bummed about is that release date because August 30th from right now from when I'm filming this seems like such a long ways away. Like that is the end of summer and we are just now starting summer here. We have quite a bit of time to wait until this comes out, but I'm sure once it's actually here, time will have flown by. And I will most definitely be adding this guy to my collection of ever expanding pink makeup palettes and pink eyeshadow. But those were all of the indie makeup releases that I wanted to share with you guys here for Pay or Stay Away. So we only actually have one mainstream brand release to talk about because there was only one that really interested me. And this is from someone who's very controversial. This is someone that not everybody loves and I totally understand why. And you know, I don't necessarily feel the greatest about him either, but I do like his releases every so often, although I'm not a frequent buyer from him. And of course, we're talking about Jeffree Star, obviously. And I understand if you don't wanna purchase anything from him and if you don't like him, I totally get it. There is a million reasons why people do not like him and I understand why. But if you guys know anything about me, then you know that I try to not mix drama and makeup together. I try to keep drama away from, you know, when I'm purchasing things and I try to not really educate myself too much on all the dramatic stuff that goes on in the beauty industry because it gets very stressful and it bums me out and it makes me a very negative person when I get too involved in it. And there are some circumstances where, you know, I will push aside that trying to be drama free aspect of my buying and my makeup, you know, purchases. But as of right now, I'm not a frequent Jeffree purchaser, but I'm also not a frequent Jeffree fan either. Little tangent over there, but I digress. Jeffree Star is coming out with the Summer 2019 Jawbreaker Collection, which is a very cute idea for a summer collection because Jawbreakers are fruity, summery candies in my opinion. But this will be available on June 21st and it is launching at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which Lord knows he sells out of everything within like seconds. So set your alarms, folks, if you want anything from this collection. But this collection is very, very vast, hence why we only have one mainstream release because I'm going to be talking about it probably for the next five minutes. But he is coming out with many different things, including the Jawbreaker palette, which will be retailing for $58. And this is the first time he is doing a 24 eyeshadow pan palette. Usually I believe he does 18 pans. He is also coming out with the mini breaker palette, which will be retailing for $28. And this is something new as well for his brand. He's coming out with a smaller eyeshadow palette that only has nine shades in it for a cheaper price, of course. And two of these shades are repeat shades from the Jawbreaker palette and the rest are different. And of course, it wouldn't be a Jeffree launch if he didn't come out with a vast array of lip products. So he is coming out with six different velour liquid lips and six lip ammunitions. Those will all be $18 each. He's got three lip scrub. He's got three new lip scrubs coming at you, which will be $12 each. He's got three Supreme Frost, which will be $30 each. And he has a buttload of accessories and track suits and all sorts of stuff coming out with this collection. All sorts of collectibles and makeup bags and accessories. This is a huge freaking collection, okay? This collection is so gigantic that I am just exhausted talking about it. But I digress. This collection is really cute. It's very summery, you know? Have we seen rainbow palettes before? Yeah, we've seen rainbow palettes before, but I know that there are a bunch of people out there who absolutely love love Jeffree's formula as far as eyeshadows go. So if you have been wanting a rainbow palette and you've been holding off waiting for him to come out with one, which I feel like is inevitable because he's a very colorful and out there and loud person. And I feel like this color scheme just matches his vibe. This is your time to shine. This is your time to go and pick this up. But I don't really think I'm gonna be purchasing anything from this collection. Now I'm very interested in the mini breaker palette. You know me, you know what I'm gonna say here. I don't, I don't even think I need to say it, but for the peanut gallery in the back, you know me, I love pinks, I love pastel purples, and this palette has a decent amount of pastel pink, pastel lilac, pastel purple. All of my favorite pastel colors are in here in this palette, and then there are some that I'm not crazy about, like that orange and whatnot. But I would probably purchase this if I wouldn't have already purchased the Nomad Cosmetics Harajuku palette, because that palette has a very similar color scheme, and for just a few dollars more, you're getting a bunch of eyeshadows with multi-chrome toppers in them. So because I purchased that one, I am gonna be skipping over everything from this Jeffree Star collection. I think it's a cute collection. I think it's very summery. It's very him, very on brand. 
but I don't need it because I have Nomad Cosmetics. Speaking of Nomad Cosmetics, I gotta go pick that palette up. So that is going to be wrapping up this week's Payer's Stay Away. So let me know down in the comments, as you guys always do, what are you gonna be purchasing? What are you gonna be skipping over? Is there anything that I didn't talk about that you think I would like to know about? Let me know. And of course, if you enjoy Payer's Stay Away and you are not already subscribed, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because we do this every single Monday. We drain our bank accounts basically talking about all of these releases we want. It's kind of sad, but it's a lot of fun. And if you found yourself enjoying this video, if you found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, then I would absolutely love it if you gave me a big old thumbs up. It helps out the channel. It helps out small YouTubers. So if you choose to do so, then I greatly appreciate you. But with that being said, I hope that you are having an absolutely amazing and beautiful day wherever you are. And thank you so much for joining me and spending your time here today. I hope to see you next time. Bye!